Alan Matthews, manager of Cork City. It's a new career for him. He's gone full time. Let's hear his views now. Hello, Alan. Hiya, Pat. How are you keeping? Yeah, you'll be a little bit disappointed not to have won, but are the lack of goals, especially at home, is, is that a little bit of a concern for you? Um, I'm a little bit more uh, than just a tad disappointed, Pat. I am disappointed more so for the players because I felt their play deserved the win tonight. Um, we've got very, very good players in that dressing room and uh, they're working particularly hard. The fact that we didn't win and, as you said, the fact that we didn't score goals, it's not a concern, um, but I would ideally like them to win the game tonight and kick off and get a win. But I know that if we keep playing the way we are and working as hard as we are on the training ground and in the matches, that uh, we'll convert the chances. We're making good chances, we just need to convert them. Alan, it's Felix. Um, what, the, what were the lads saying in the dressing room about the penalty claim to draw the hat? Um, didn't say too much. I gave, gave a little bit of a chat to them because it came from loose play from our point of view in the sense that it was sloppy passing and it went back to Mick and I think it was second phase off that. Um, didn't say too much about it but looking at it from the sideline and I'm sure you have a, a good view of it there yourselves, it could have been a penalty you've seen them given before. Um, so there wasn't much said about it, only the fact that we created it and we were the, the masters of that chance for draw it ourselves. Pat and I were talking uh, pre-programme about, about the, the quandary you find yourself in in terms of, well you probably won't find it a quandary, but we were talking about the problems you're going to have trying to fit everybody in, you know for example O'Callaghan, Farley, Healy and Gamble are all central midfield players. Now tonight George O'Callaghan played wide right and, and one man of the match, and, and rightly so. But it's, uh, I mean, how are you going to jig things around there? Are you going to play it by ear? I'll play it by ear, Felix. We've got good players here. And um, I think the two lads in the middle, Joe and Colin, are, are, are smashing players and good players. Gareth Farley's injured at the moment. And George has his many, many attributes, uh, both as a midfield player, off the front man, or as a wide man, as you saw tonight. But I think. The, the, the good thing from my point of view is that we've got good players playing, some of them who are playing out of position. Pat Sullivan who came in tonight and played left full again for, Kelly, uh, for Dara Ryan. George went out and done a job for us on wide on the right. He scored three goals for us this season, um, so I mean he's not doing too bad. And when you look at the options that we have, um, sometimes you know a, a team or a pattern on a team can fall into place by, by accident. You have designs and you have plans and sometimes it doesn't work that way. But I think the players realise that you know, we're, we're all going in the one direction, we all want the same thing, we want success. They want to be in the team, and if it means playing perhaps a little bit left, a little bit right of your normal favourite position, well then so be it. Um, the work ethic, I think, is the thing that's most pleasing from my point of view, that regardless of what position the players are playing in, they're all working extremely hard for the team. Is that the attitude that you're going to have towards the front players as well? Because you've got three fantastic options, Dennis Bean couldn't get a game tonight, came on a substitute, and you also you've got John O'Flynn and, and Mooney as well that you've signed from Longford. Is it going to be, you're going to give them all a chance, and whoever does the business, they get the jersey? Yeah, I think that would be a fair comment, Pat. I think the guys that are, I mean, we've got good players, and they're all, they all want to play, and some of them are disappointed when they don't play, which is fine. But the reality is that we have to win football matches, and we've got to get players doing the business week in, week out. Um, expectation comes with that um, for me, and it also comes um, from me to the players, or for me, the players need to provide that to me, in the sense that they're good professionals and we want them to do the business week in, week out. And those that have the jersey and are doing it um, will be given loyalty and will stay in the team. But notwithstanding that, I think that when you have a squad as we have, you've got to be fair to players as well. And that's why tonight, John O'Flynn's first game since the Cup final and Neil Horgan's likewise. So it was terrific to give those two guys um, a full 90 minutes tonight. And they showed again you know, that they're hungry and that they have an appetite to try and win things for the club again. You had a lot of success at Longford, particularly in the Cups. And a very safe and secure career in banking. What made you take that leap, that perilous leap, and put all your eggs in one basket and rely on full-time football management? How big a decision was that for you, Alan? Um, it was a big decision, Pat, but it was made very, very easy uh, for two key components. One, my, my family, my wife Siobhan and four children, and my parents all supported me totally. And two, um, the Ulster Bank gave me the green light to, uh, to take a break from my... 20 odd years in the bank so I mean from from that end of it, it was decision was easy from a personal point of view and um, it's something that I've always wanted to do so it was a, a challenge that I would love to to have experience and I'm experiencing it now and um, the players have been terrific down here and it's been um, it's been a different challenge to the one that I encountered in Longford and um, when I started and by the time I finished that challenge had changed dramatically and likewise it'll probably happen here as well but um, it's something that I've always wanted to do and I've been six years with Longford Town and thoroughly enjoyed it 
I'm always wanted to have a, a, a challenge for myself to see if I can win a league title. As you said, we've done okay in the Cubs with Longford. I'd like to do well down here in Cork as well in the Cubs, but I would really like to win a league title. And I also wanted to, to work full time in football and experience it. And to date, um, it's been very, very enjoyable. It would be extra enjoyable though if we had a couple of wins under our belt. Alan, talking about pressures and so much is, is made of managers under pressure nowadays. Have you grasped already, even though you're just down there a win a week's, uh, the different pressure that's, that's involved at Cork as opposed to managing Longford? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a different job. It's a bigger job. Um, again, without being disrespectful, but Cork are, are a big club, a massive club in many respects. They've got, I would imagine, the best support base in the country. Terrific ground here in Turner's Cross. And they've got backers and people who want this club to progress and push forward. Um, as manager, that's something that um, I'm delighted to be able to work with. The pressures that are there are the same every week. You want to win matches and you want to get your players fit, motivated mentally and physically to go out and do the job. And that's the challenge. The pressure comes, I suppose, when you feel as if you're leaving yourself short. And at the moment, I don't think I am. I'm working extremely hard with these players um, to try and make sure we get the right results. And I think when, when you get up and you, 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 you prepare properly, you train properly, uh, you motivate the guys, you think properly, um, well then, if the result comes your way, great. If it doesn't, you move on to the next one. So from my point of view, I know that I'm working extremely hard to make this club a success and continue a success. And I think if I can do that, I can deal with the pressure. I think it's if you take shortcuts or if you try and, you know, uh, leave people short, you'll be found out and it brings additional pressure. Um, so that won't come from my end and it won't come from the staff's end here either. The Arcadia Fund are now the owners of Cork City. They're very ambitious people. What will you deem to be a successful season this year, Alan? To improve on what the club achieved last season, which was to win a senior trophy and finish higher than fourth in the league. Um, I want to win the league with Cork City. Um, every manager in the league this year has aspirations of being successful. I'm no different. Um, from my point of view, I want every game that we play to be that for us to be competitive and that the three points of the victory will take us further on our progress, be it in the league or be it in the cup competitions. But we've got a lot of games to play this year that we want to win. We want a challenge for the league. We want to be up there. Whether we're good enough to win it or not, we'll find out after 33 games. We want to win the Satanta Cup. We want to win the FAI Cup and we'll deal with those games as we did tonight um, when they come round. But ultimately, from my point of view, I want us to push on. Um, we've got excellent players here, some terrific professionals. We've got terrific support and we've got excellent backing from the Arcadia Fund and the people running the club. So we want to marry all of that together and progress and push on. So that's my challenge for this season. Thanks, Alan. Decent performance tonight. I'm sure the goals will come and best luck against Derry on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Pat.